Hey, oh, it's Mayo. So today's video is kind of requested. Um, I'm not really going to be in the video very much, so that's why I don't have makeup on and I'm not all dolled up. <laughs> I have had some people ask me what products I use in the shower, like what shampoo I use and like what body wash. I've had people ask me what skincare products I use, so that's what today's video is going to be about. I'm just going to keep it really simple and show you guys the products. Later on, I plan to do a video like showing you my skincare routine, but for now I'm just going to show you guys the products. And that's kind of it. <laughs> so these are my skincare and shower products. These ones right here one two three those are my shower products and then um, everything else is skincare these are just the bottles that i store these ones in so i really don't use that much and then i just i don't use rose water super often but every once in a while i do a little spritz i mostly wear this rose water as like perfume honestly i use it as air freshener too it's awesome <laughs> I will start with the shower products and then I'll talk about the uh, skincare products as well. So we'll start over here. So these are my shower products. I got these from my local health food store. I came in and I didn't really know what I was doing at that point and I asked them to help me find some really clean products and this is what was recommended to me. I originally started out with just these two. I used this baby body hair wash as body wash and shampoo and then I used their deep conditioner as well from the brand original sprout I used just this as shampoo for a little bit but it didn't really clean my hair as deeply as I wanted to so I asked for like a stronger shampoo because I have kind of oily hair and this is what was recommended to me and it's awesome it works great it does have um, tea tree I know some people are really sensitive to tea tree it's too strong for some people but um, it works great for me. I actually only shampoo my hair um, every other day. I used to wash my hair every day and it took a little bit of adjusting time for my hair oils to adjust to the washing every other day, but it actually made a really big difference. My hair is much less oily and it's um, shinier and healthier because washing every day can actually strip your hair of a lot of really natural healthy oils and when your hair adjusts to just washing every other day you develop less oil so yeah this is an awesome shampoo it's it's pretty clean it's not the cleanest shampoo i've ever seen or found but it's got a lot of really good ingredients you can pause it right here if you want to read but it's mostly natural ingredients there's some certified organic it's also you know vegan there's no animal testing and of course bottles can always be recycled so that's awesome <laughs> for comparison with this um, shampoo slash body wash this is intended for like babies but can be used for any ages for babies and up <laughs> it's paraben free nanoparticle free lavender tea tree petroleum free um, no glycerin it's gluten free soy free dairy free 100 percent vegan it's also cruelty free and can be recycled great stuff <laughs> it's got lots of great information on the bottle about you know um, it's great for the ph um, all ages no sulfates it's gentle on the eyes as well um, i do really well with baby products and i always have so this was the kind of i lucked out again you can pause right here if you want to read these ingredients if you're interested in this product um, again it's not the absolute cleanest but it's it works really well for me it is made in the USA it's actually local it's made in um, my county so that's pretty cool and then the conditioner it has lots of the same information it's for all ages all hair types it's rich with nutrients and has gentle pH there's no numbing agents it's easy healthy again you can pause here on the ingredients if you want to read that made in the USA made locally cruelty free it's awesome so I've stuck with these products for two years and my hair is the healthiest it's ever been it's shiny and the colors are coming back it's growing 100% would recommend these products for anyone these are my skincare products like I said these little bottles are just what I store these ones in and my rose water which is from mountain rose herbs it's certified organic 
I really just use this as um, body spritz most of the time or as an air freshener before I go to bed. I like to spray my pillow. Um, it's fantastic. I love, love, love this stuff. I've gone through a couple bottles. <laughs> People have asked me what I do for skincare because I had cystic acne and I self-treated my own acne. I couldn't find any skincare lines that were clean enough for my sensitive skin, so I took it upon myself to learn about skincare and take care of my own skin. I ended up really loving um, oil cleansing methods, but personally, I do best with just single ingredients, so this is, this is what we got. <laughs> Most of the time, day to day, I usually just do aloe vera on my skin. This one is from Mountain Rose Herbs. It's literally just pure aloe vera gel and it has just a few preservatives. But it's fantastic and it's food grade. If you haven't checked out Mountain Rose Herbs before, I 100% recommend them. It's where I get... Um, my other oils I also get jojoba oil from them I use this as a hair mask every once in a while this is certified organic it's hundred percent pure oil there is nothing else in it this is also what I put on my skin after I shave so when I shave I just do a mix of aloe vera and jojoba I squirt them into my hand and then I get a couple drops of that and I just rub it in and that's what I do <laughs> This is unlabeled because this is just a jar full of olive oil. My family has an olive orchard. We have over 400 trees. We make our own olive oil. It's organic. We do sell it. <laughs> I can link it below if people are really interested. We cook with our olive oil in everything I eat. It's always been something that I've tolerated even through my mass activation. Um, but I use it in my food. I use it on my skin. I take off my makeup with olive oil sometimes. I also take off my makeup with coconut oil. That's pretty much just all I put on my skin. Coconut oil can plug pores and for some people it makes them more acne prone. I typically just use coconut oil on my eyes now um, and I use olive oil on the rest of my face. That's what works for me. This is just a little jar I use to store my oil. I keep the full jar under my sink where it's cool and then only just a couple tablespoons gets exposed. This coconut oil is literally just from Trader Joe's. Organic virgin coconut oil. Cold pressed and unrefined is my preference. It's USDA organic and that's it. It's food grade which is cool. You could cook with it. We love food grade skincare products. <laughs> And that's, that's my faves. With my own skin, I have found that less is more. I do much, much better when I do less. Um, and that's kind of it. Simple. Oh, and these cute little cobalt blue glasses, I got these from Mountain Rose Herbs as well. I will leave their link below if anyone wants to check out their website. I love their stuff. They sell oils. They sell essential oils. They sell bottles and tins and all sorts of awesome stuff so definitely check them out that's today's video I just kept it really simple and wanted to share with you guys what products I use it's been something I've been meaning to share for a while now and just haven't put it out there <laughs> like I said I'll soon try to do a video of my skincare routine I had really bad cystic acne and as you can see my skin is not perfect but it's much much clearer I'm not wearing any makeup or anything right now I healed my cystic acne with these skincare products um, and really just was patient with myself. So soon I will try and share my whole skincare routine with you guys. Um, I didn't share what razors I use, but there's kind of some tips and tricks with shaving. So I want to do a video about shaving because <laughs> um, there's some things I've learned along the way that make a really big difference. In my muscle activation series, I talked about, you know, how um, sensitive I became to everything. I became allergic to pretty much everything and all skincare products and hair care products and food and water and temperatures and the weather and I had anaphylactic reactions all day long. I've gone two years now without an anaphylactic reaction which is pretty cool um, and I'm just wanting to share my tips and tricks on how I've healed my body and gotten to where I am now. Switching to all clean and all natural skincare was a huge part of healing my body and was very key to healing my skin. Um, and yeah, that's kind of, that's it. <laughs>
If you have any video requests and any topics you want to hear me talk about, please comment below. I'm an open book, so don't be afraid to ask me any questions or comment below. Be sure to follow me on social media and check out my blogs and my businesses and all that good stuff. I will link everything below in the description box, and I will also link the brands of these products that I listed. So check those out and um, send them some love. Thank you guys for watching. Tune back in later. Like and subscribe if you enjoy. Classic mayo. Ha. <laughs>